Hey, I'm Brian from IFA 2019 and this is the Sony Xperia 5. Basically, Sony could have also called this the Xperia 1 Compact, because that's really basically what it is. It's a smaller version of Sony's Xperia 1 that they unveiled a few months ago. With it being smaller on the front, you don't have a 6.5 inch but a 6.1 inch display, and also only a 1080p resolution and not 4K like the Xperia 1. But it still is an OLED 21 by 9 panel with that super tall aspect ratio. What I have to say though is that due to the phone being this tall, it really doesn't feel super compact and isn't really that usable with one hand. Of course it's better than a lot of flagships these days, but it's really only not that wide, it's still a very tall phone. Of course, as I said before, it is kind of a compact version of the Xperia 1, so you do have very similar specs. Inside you find a high-end Snapdragon 855 CPU, 6GB of RAM, as well as 128GB of storage, and the same camera system from the Xperia 1 on the back though the cameras have been moved to the left side, making it resemble more of a Huawei or a recent Samsung device. So you have three 12 megapixel cameras, one standard, one telephoto and one ultra wide. As usual with Sony phones, this is a glass and metal sandwich that is IP68 water resistant, but what is missing is the headphone jack, which is kind of a bummer. What is also a bummer is the huge price tag at 800 euros. I don't think that this phone is really that compelling at that high price tag, which makes it packed by the same problem as the Xperia 1 had. At 500 euros, I think this would have been something worth considering, especially given its more compact nature, but at this high price tag, I just don't see the point of it, really. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content from IFA 2019. Apart from that, you know which buttons to press and don't forget to press that follow button on Twitter. I'm Brian, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.